Hi, I'm just gonna do like everyone else and talk annoyingly loud to myself on my phone. I'm in Brussels. I just wanna show you around. I'm actually on my way to, um, to see 10 Trix Point Never in the Ancienne Belgique, the AB. 10 Trix Point Never is uh, an electronica producer from America who um, has been making some great albums. His real name is, oh look, the Smurfs. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Daniel Lopatin, one of Tricks Point Never. He's worked with, uh, thank you. He's worked with The Weeknd as a producer on his albums Dawn FM and After Hours, but he's also made some soundtracks, Uncut Gems and uh, Good Times, which won the uh, award for best soundtrack at the Cannes Film Festival. So I'm very curious what the live show is going to be. Uh, a lot of multimedia, I hope, uh, good visuals and some good music. I really like his albums on the Warp label. Um, we'll see how it goes. Let me show you some more of Brussels. Beautiful spring day. So here I am in the center of Brussels. This is the venue, the logo is there. Ancien Belgique, the AB is one of the best, if not the best concert venue in Belgium with a great sound, a 2000 capacity, I think the main hall, a small club on the first floor. It's in the middle of the center of Brussels, as you can see. Um, yeah, great venue. I've been here literally hundreds of times. Uh, so tonight it's one of tricks point never. The opening act sounds really interesting. So I'm gonna check that out as well. And tomorrow night, I will be back here for Thundercat, who had a sold out show in the main hall. But first things first. Okay, uh, that was intense. If there's ever such a thing as maximalism in music, I think One of Tricks Point Never would definitely fit in that genre for me. But a great use of visuals and uh, multimedia and video and stuff like that. The music was great, but very loud. I enjoyed the show, yeah, it was a good show. my car uh, near the railway station where I'm going to take the train to Brussels again tonight 
uh, for uh, the Thundercat gig. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen him live, so I'm quite excited for that one. But first, some thoughts about uh, last night's gig of 103 Point Never. Now, when I came out of the venue, I was a bit flabbergasted because it was a very intense show, musically, visually, um, it was a lot. I really enjoyed the show, although I must say that the music of 103 Point Never is a bit um sometimes a bit too much for me in the way that it's sometimes three songs poured into one and you don't really know what's going on or there's too much going on at the same time so it's very uh maximalist music like i said it's just too much you know that i can't process everything that's going on with the combined with the visuals uh actually that made it very impressive for me because the visuals there was like a puppet player who was filming the 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 puppet that he was manipulating and that was projected on the big screen combined with all sorts of crazy visuals and yeah so the combination of that really made it a very impressive show i was really impressed by it um and like i said it was completely different than the show that altecra did last thursday uh, which was completely in the dark, but the beats were, <laughs> for Altecra being Altecra, very recognizable. You know, there was really some good breakbeats going on and it, there was a good buildup uh, during the one and a half hour show to a climax where it all just kind of exploded, uh, but still very uh, danceable in a way and very yeah even more accessible than one or tricks point never musically um but maybe it was because it was completely in the dark and you could really focus on what was going on how they were um deconstructing the beats and kind of putting them back together in another way to create something different and new and and uh so it was very i, I thought it was a fantastic show from Altecra. One of Tricks Point Never, if you get the chance to see him, go see him. But expect a lot, you know, and, and it's it's quite uh, oof, overwhelming. But yeah, two very different and very interesting shows. So Thundercat tonight, something completely different. Bass player for Suicidal Tendencies, signing with uh, Brain Feeder Records, which is the label of uh, Flying Lotus combination of R&B, free jazz, funk. Quite curious what he's gonna do because he doesn't have a new album out except for that great single with Tame Impala. But um, yeah, looking forward to that.
you guys. This was the fourth time I saw Thundercat. Two times in the AB in Brussels and one time in the Vartkapun, which is a very small venue, but that was a long time ago. Um, I thought this was the best time I've seen him. Uh, on previous shows, I had the impression sometimes that the musicianship could stand in the way of the songs, if you know what I mean. But this was just a great show, a great crowd. Uh, I really had a great time. Very happy I went to Brussels to see him. Uh, Thundercat, of course, is a phenomenal musician, really funny uh, in between the songs. So um, absolutely highly recommend it. If you have the chance to see him, go check him out. And the new song sounded really good. Uh, new album coming up apparently. So another thing to look forward to.